Hi, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this gift, gift card holder. It's made using the rabbit from the Fable Friends and Whisper White cardstock with some designer series paper, which is from Woven Threads, which is new in the June 2019-20 catalogue. And this blue colour is one of the new 2019-2021 in colours and it's called Seaside Spray. This woven threads, all the colours in it are the five new in colours. When you pull off the belly band, it opens up and there's a little card inside where you put your gift card, slots into, then you slot it back in and you've got a belly band to keep it all fastened. Now, this file was a free cutting file I gave to my patrons. So I thought I'd show you how I designed it and then I'm gonna show you obviously how I put it all together. I'll just quickly show you the designer series paper. So this is one pattern, I've only got this piece left and that's the other side and as I say all the colours that are in this pack <coughs> are the 2019-2021 in colours so you've got Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, this is another one with the Rococo Rose Seaside Spray Whisper White and it's got some of the terracotta tile in it and it's got a neutral I think that's crumb cake background this is another one I've used a lot of Again, with all the colours in and the terracotta tile on the back. This is one of my favourites, apart from the blue that I've used here. This one is Purple Posy. And on the other side, you've got a mixture, crumb cake, terracotta tile, Rococo Rose, white. And then this is Pretty Peacock, which is one of the darker colours. When you turn it over, you've got kind of a, a bold pattern on the other side. And then you've got this one, which is the Rococo Rose and Crumb Cake, and then the Pretty Peacock with the ball pattern on the other side. So if there's a side that you're not particularly liking, like I don't necessarily like these big patterns, but I would use this. So, you know, there's always a B-side, if you like, to our designer series paper. Okay, so I'm using Scan & Cut Canvas online because I want to make use of the X and Y coordinates. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring on a rectangle. I'm going to come to the edit icon which is the second down on the top right hand side and I'm going to make this seven. I'm going to untick maintain aspect ratio and in the height I'm going to make it five. I'm going to Come up to the X and Y coordinates and I'm going to position it at 0, 0. So it puts it in the top left hand corner for me. Now I'm going to come to the path icon and select that. I'm going to left click once and let go of my mouse. Press my shift key down and then without pressing anything on my mouse, I'm just dragging my mouse out into a straight line. And then I'm just going to double click to anchor it with this selected. I'm going to make it five inches high and click enter on the keyboard. I'm going to come to the layers panel, which is the fourth icon down on the right hand side. And while this path line is still selected, I'm going to come to the bottom and hit duplicate. So I've now got two. So the first line I want to position at two inches. So I'm going to come to the X coordinate and say 2 and hit enter and then under the Y coordinate I'm going to say 0 and that's position that line at exactly 2 inches for me. Now while it's selected I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to make it a dash line and then click away. I'm going to select the second path line and this time under the X coordinate I'm going to put 5 and under the Y I'm going to put 0. 
and that's positioned that at five inches. Now again, while it's selected, I'm gonna to come to the dash line and make it a dash line. So I've now got a seven by five rectangle with dashed score lines positioned at two and five. And that's the basic shape for the gift card holder. I'm going to select everything, right click and make those a group. So I'm now gonna move that out of the way. So I'm going to make the belly band. So again, I'm gonna come back to the basic shapes. I'm gonna drag on a rectangle. I'm gonna to come to the width and I'm gonna make it seven. And in the height, I'm going to make it one. Again, I'm going to come up to the X and Y coordinates and I'm going to position it at zero, zero. So it's up in this top right hand corner. I'm going to come back to the path icon. I'm going to left click on my mouse and let go. Press the shift key down on my keyboard and now just drag the mouse down. I'm going to double click to anchor it. With this selected, I'm going to come over to the width and the height and I'm going to make it one inch. I'm going to come up to the line pattern and make it a dash line. Now again, I'm going to position this. So under the X and Y, I'm going to put it in two and zero. And that's now position that at two inches. While it's selected, I'm going to come to the layers icon, come down to the duplicate icon and duplicate it. I'm going to come back to the editing icon. And then this time I'm going to position it at 5.12. and then under the X and then under the Y at zero. And again, just making sure while it's selected, it is a dash line and it is because I duplicated this one. So I'm going to select everything, right click and make a group. So that's now the belly band. So now I want to make the actual card that sits in the middle here. I'm going to come back to the basic shapes I'm going to grab another rectangle and drag it on and then this time I'm going to make the width 4.5 and the height I'm going to make it 2.6. I'm going to come down to the basic shapes and I'm going to drag on a circle I'm going to resize the circle either by dragging in a corner or coming over here to the width and height. Because it's a circle, I obviously want to keep it a circle, so I'm going to tick maintain aspect ratio. I'm going to make it a one inch circle. And again, I'm just going to duplicate it. And I can do right click and duplicate, or I can come to the layers panel and come to the bottom and duplicate. Just going to put that one on one side for now. So now I'm just going to come back to the rectangles and I'm just going to make a skinny rectangle because I just want to split this circle in half. So I'm going to position that on top of the circle, select both. I'm going to come to the align and center them. And then I'm going to come to the bottom and hit subtract. And that's now split my circle in half but they're just still one item. So now I want to come to the divide icon and then left click anywhere to select and these now should be two separate shapes. I'm going to delete the bottom half. I'll just zoom in on this top half. Then I'm going to double click on here and I want this bottom line selected. With this selected, I'm going to hit open line and that will get rid of that bottom line. I'm just going to zoom back out so that I can get to my page. Now I'm going to come back to our rectangle and I'm going to position it at zero, zero. I'm going to Grab the half a circle and position it on top of the rectangle. 
I'm going to select both and centre them. Then I'm going to select the zoom icon and I'm just going to zoom in on the rectangle. Then I'm going to select my select icon and then I just want to position this so it's about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. I'm going to select both and right click and make them a group. So now I'm going to bring my base rectangle back in. I'm going to hold the shift key down and hover over this circle and rotate it so it's vertical. I'm going to select it, right click and ungroup. And then I'm going to select it and come to the layers panel. And I want to hide the dash lines. So I think it's these two here. So I'm going to click on the eye to hide that dash line and click on the eye to hide that dash line. Now I want to bring the circle over the rectangle and just select both of these, come back to the editing icon and centre them and then I'm going to come to subtract and that's cut a thumb notch in the base card for me. Now I'm going to select it, come back to the layers and I'm going to turn back on the dash lines and now I'm going to reselect everything, right click and make it a group. So now I've got my base card I've got the bit that sits inside that my gift card holder will sit into and I've got my belly band. So I just want to make my matting layers now for the front. So I'm going to grab another rectangle and I'm going to make this on the editing icon, I'm going to make it, I'm going to untick maintain aspect ratio, I'm going to make it 1.75 high and 4.75 wide. I think that's right. I'm just going to make it red in the hope that you might be able to see it better and that should sit on the front now. So I'm going to right click and make a duplicate. I'm going to bring in another circle, size it down 1.25. I'm going to position that on top of the rectangle, select both, use the align center, click away anywhere on the page, then I'm going to select the circle and I just want these two center boxes on this circle to line up with the bottom red line here and they look as though they are. So I'm going to select both and hit subtract. Now when I drag this over, this should sit on here as my matting layer and it fits around the thumb notch. So they're, they're my matting layers. So the only other thing that I did with this design was to use another shape that was in the basic shapes. And it's this one under polygons. So I'm going to bring that on. I'm going to make it 3.5 inches wide and that makes it 1.75 high. So that's the size I used for the white layer to stamp my design on. And then I want to go to the offset button at the bottom. I want to make the spacing 0.25. I want it outward, I don't want it rounded, I want it beveled edge and I want it round the outside only and that's created my matting layer which I cut in blue. 
So they're all the elements I made to create the gift card holder. So now I'm going to show you how I assembled it all. Okay, so I've got all the elements cut out on the scan and cut and I'm now going to start using my Tombow multi-purpose liquid adhesive layering up the woven threads designer series paper onto the main part of this gift card holder so i'm just going to position this first piece in place and as you can see i've got like a quarter inch border all the way around i'm going to apply adhesive now onto this second part you don't need a lot, just a, you know, a little bit goes a long way with multi-purpose glue. And I'm going to position this on the top panel and I'm going to try and line it up so I've got the same gap all the way around, again, a quarter of an inch. Just going to smooth this down now to let the adhesive grab. Now, I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to fold on the score lines. Now this is Whisper White Thick that I'm using here. So it will need burnishing and I'm using my bone folder. So that's the bottom part folded up. This is the top part now that folds over. I'm just giving it a good crease on both sides with my bone folder because as I say, this is designer series paper, thick Whisper White. So what I need to do now is this little section goes inside and this is the section that holds the gift card that's also part of the cutting file. But I need to apply some glue on this bottom section, just a very thin bead of glue on both the right hand side and the left hand side of the bottom section because this is going to create the pocket. So I'm just gonna fold up the bottom section and just burnish those two sides down where I've applied that glue, just to give the glue some time to grab. And as I say, that's going to create my pocket for this gift card holder. Okay, so I didn't have a gift card handy, so I've managed to find a little store card, but it's the same size. You can see here that it slots into the little insert that I've made for the holder, and then that slots neatly inside just because we've uh, just because I've glued the edges down. And now I'm going to make the belly band, which again was all part of the cutting file. Again, this is thick whisper white. So I've pre-scored it. Okay, so that's going to wrap around like so. You don't want it to be too tight because you want to be able to slide the belly band off because I'm going to stick it together. You could use tear and tape. I'm going to use a bit of the Tombow multi-purpose glue. Again, you don't need a lot just a little bit along one of the edges, just applying it sparingly, and then fold it over, just hold it down for a few seconds so that the adhesive will grab, and then once that's dry, that can then be decorated up. So now I'm bringing in the Fable Friends stamp set and I'm using the Rabbit, which is just adorable. I've already mounted it up onto a clear block and I've got my piece of Whisper White which again was part of the cutting file. I'm just going to stamp it up with Memento Black Ink and I'm going to stamp the rabbit onto this piece of Whisper White. Okay, so now I'm bringing in my blends. I'm using Smoky Slate light and I'm just going to colour the rabbit so I'm just doing around the ears 
then I'm going to colour all the face and the body. Okay, so that's done now. I'm going to move on to the Seaside Spray, which is the blue colour, and I'm going to colour in the jacket. And again, I'm using the light Seaside Spray. So this is just simple colouring. I'm not doing any blending. You know, just using one colour. I'm using light in all the colours that I've used. I'm now going to use Petal Pink and I'm just going to colour in the centre of the ears. Okay, so that's how it's looking all completed. Simple project, just slide off the belly band and you've got the gift card inside attached to its little sleeve. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.